One of my favorite horror movies ever, Evil Dead 2013. Hi guys, this is Josh with J Show Horror back again. Today I'm continuing my Final Destination and Evil Dead review series with Evil Dead released in 2013. Now for me, this is one of my favorite, all-time favorite horror remakes, reboots, whatever you want to call it. They took everything great about this franchise and they made the tone very, very serious again, just like the original movie. Now I do like Army of Darkness quite a bit, but I do think they go into slapstick comedy, Three Stooges style stuff in that movie a little too much. And I'm just glad they went to the roots of the original movie and delivered a straight up awesome horror flick. I like the beginning of this movie where you got this teenage girl she's trying to escape in the woods and she gets captured and there's this group of people who tied her up, even her dad's in this group of people and you find out real quick this girl is possessed by a demon and she ended up killing her own mother and her father's wife and her father ends up actually shooting her in the head and they burn her alive to save her soul and then the title of Evil Dead pops up on screen. Just a really awesome quick opening to this movie that really set you in the mood, really let you know that this is not a goofy Evil Dead movie. You're going to get a very straight up serious horror flick. Oh, you're so loud, you pathetic fuck! I will kill you like I killed your boy! I also like at the beginning of this movie, they give you a reason to stay at the cabin. You got Mia, she's a drug addict and she wants to quit. She was going to try to quit cold turkey at this cabin and she's got her friends with her and they all decide along with their brother that she cannot leave the cabin no matter what she tries to do or say. So I like that they give us a reason to stay at the cabin and because a lot of horror movies, you got like a family at a haunted house or people at a secluded location you're like why are they not leaving when crazy stuff starts happening and i love all the the nods and references to the rest of the evil dead movies you got asher's car in here uh the story in general is very similar to the original but it just it's got a little bit it's a little more crazier the gore is a little quite a bit better than in the original movie and I like the entire cast in this movie. I think everybody should have went on to do other stuff because everybody was really good, the, the five people at this cabin. I even like the guy, who's, he's got like the long hair and he's like the voice of the audience and he says like crazy funny stuff throughout the movie that the audience are is actually thinking and he just says it out loud. Just some great stuff from this guy. Now Mia is one of my all time favorite final girls ever. I think Jane Levy does a spectacular job in this. She should have been a huge star in my eyes. She did so good with this and Don't Breathe and a couple other things I've seen her in. She's just so good and Mia is one of my favorite final girls because she goes through so much in this movie. First off, she's a drug addict. She's trying to quit cold turkey. So she's dealing with that. Then she gets possessed and she's essentially, Mia is essentially the villain for like the first two thirds of this movie and she does so good. She's very creepy Jane Levy with all that makeup. She's very creepy. Her acting is so good in this. And and then I love that, it, that she ends up getting her soul gets saved and she ends up being the final girl in the third act and she ends up defeating the evil by the end of it. I just love Mia so much. She's definitely a, one of my top favorite final girls of all time just because of the crazy arc she goes through. She just goes through so much and she's the villain and the hero of this movie and I just love how they did that in this movie and I love the pace of this movie it's so like really kind of quickly paced 
it's like a non-stop thrill ride and it's just so much fun and this is there's always like a movie in every franchise that kind of makes me a huge fan of that franchise and for me this remake is the movie that made me a fan of evil dead after i saw this in the theater i wanted to instantly go back and watch everything else evil dead now, i think all the gore and everything is top notch in this movie like and i love that all the gore is practical we got people getting their faces uh, sliced open and you got people just get chopping off their arms people people's hands getting possessed people get getting their hands bit and everything and uh, even like the scene with the meat slicer and Mia like cuts her tongue in half and then she's got the two halves of her tongue this for me is like the perfect example of a perfectly executed reboot slash remake of a classic series I even like that there's a little bit backstory in this movie at the beginning with Mia and her brother and Mia has to take care of had to take care of her mother when her mother was dying and her brother wasn't around. She tells her brother to promise that he won't leave when she goes through this. They give you just enough backstory where you care about Mia and her brother especially in this movie and it's not too much. It's still a very fast paced thrill ride. It's just enough where I actually ended up caring about Mia quite a bit this there are some great creepy moments some awesome jump scares in this i i even like the recreation of some of the stuff from the original like when mia gets kind of raped by the tree it's done just as great as the first movie and i love the entire climax of this movie when mia's brother is burying her alive and it, like some of the stuff she's saying when, she, when he's trying to bury her is very creepy it has something to do with her their mother and everything just some creepy stuff in this movie even though it's so fast-paced they do stop every once in a while to give you some creepy moments in this movie I know mother hates you now and she waits for you in hell <laughs> And of course, after Mia gets saved, I absolutely love the climax in this when the abomination gets his souls and it starts literally raining blood. So the entire climax of this is literally raining blood and Mia's trying to get away. All the great, I even like that they throw in some more references to the old movies, like the Jeep falling on her hand and she's got to rip her hand off just like Ash had, had cut his hand off. She's running away from the abomination. I like the story of like the abomination was lashed onto Mia's soul and it kind of looks like Mia he was like the abomination was slowly becoming Mia and just the entire climax is very suspenseful and the visual effect of the blood raining down is just awesome and then Mia's final line she's got the chainsaw she, she says go back to hell bitch it's cheesy but it just works it it gives you a little bit of a feel every once in a while of the original movies but they just go straight for the horror and of course she beats the evil at the end and she ends up being a clean for me overall this movie worked for me i saw this in the theater a few times because i, I saw this and absolutely love it still love it today i think it holds up so well I've seen it so many times by now. I, I think some of the luster has worn off, but, but I've seen the movie so many times. So I am gonna give this movie a nine out of 10. I think it's near perfect. I absolutely love Evil Dead 2013, and I, I am so, so excited for Evil Dead Rise. It looks like it kinda will have the same tone as this movie. But guys, go down in the comment section below. Give me all your thoughts on Evil Dead. Let me know how excited you are for Evil Evil Dead Rise and definitely be looking out for my Final Destination 5 review coming up in the next few days and I will be seeing you guys really really soon. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.